you know, it's a big difference between these little rural stores and then your, 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 I don't know if you consider, you can tell me if you consider uh, Tampa Clearwater Metro, but in the bigger cities, the bigger volume stores, at least where they're selling 600 cars, you know, per month, there's a huge difference in operations. There's a huge difference in process. Tell us about the difference between these rural markets and the big city markets and what do you like and dislike about each of them? Well, I never worked in a rural market, but now as a vendor to the space, I'm on the phone all day with everybody from rural Texas, rural Canada. Uh, I mean, you name it. So I really can get a good barometer now. So I can tell you what I think it is, although I never sold rural. Uh, Tampa Bay is a pretty darn big market now, yeah. that's for sure. Lots so, of vendors down there also. I mean, sorry to jump in there, but man, there's no. some vendors in, in, in Tampa. I, uh, I, got, I cut my teeth in the direct mail business in the early 2000s with, a, with one of the hundreds of companies from the Tampa area. So, I mean, they're just car guys everywhere down there. And you were involved with Grant for a while, weren't you? Yep. I had a contract to sell Cardone on demand, uh, the training technologies. I could still sell it today, but in, you know, I found that selling, selling my products was just a little bit better for me than, you know, for selling someone well, else. Well, uh, <clears throat> Bob Moore and associates came in and sold us the very first Clearwater Grant Cardone seminar. And I was there. Really? And, Two guys, I have two witnesses. It's on my Jay Smith podcast. <laughs> I sat in the front row and you had to put your name on the placard. I was probably 25 years old, a new sales manager. And when I put my name on, I put sales God and sat in the front row. Mm, a little, little, little cocky back in the early days. A little and got into a little debate with Grant. I'm still, I'd love to get him on and talk about it. I, I'm sure he re thinks about nothing but that. Yeah. <laughs> His, he wakes up thinking about your debate. <clears throat> That's right. So uh, anyway, that was fun. Uh, but the difference between rural and what I would call high process is rural uh, seems to be a little more. Everyone knows everyone. Uh, and by the way, I'm not saying it's right. Uh, or I'm sorry. I'm not saying it's most effective. I'm just saying how I think that it is. Sure. So a little bit more um, one price or close to one price on the hope that that person will return low pressure. Now, I don't really believe in pressure, although the rural person, I think, believes that the process that I grew up in would be pre pressure, which is serving a customer window, hold on the trade, give them an opportunity to pay, and then hang in there until you discover under what circumstance they'll buy. Not pressure, just sweetening the deal until you find out where they're happy. Mm-hmm. That's yep. all. Yeah, so sure. I, th I think from a high volume, making a million Domino's pizzas standpoint, we need to have that done. I don't think there'd be a, really a way to get our arms around. Now, at this first store, this uh, Lincoln Mercury store, we spot delivered nothing on the six, 700 uh, new and used a month. Everything was two days to get the car prepared over CSI issues, et cetera. So part of the process there after we took our thousand dollar deposit, see in two days, like a stone part of the sales process was managing the phone call that we don't want the car anymore. Cause of the, now that they had a copy of their agreement on their deposit, they shopped two places on the way home. Yes. Yes. And that was at the high volume store. Yes. Wow. And Spotted you, zero. We weren't allowed to. And you maintained it over 600 cars and, and dealing with the fallout on the, on the day after the event. There wasn't, well, it was dealing with the process of the attempted fallout. We actually had a process that started with, of course, after the five hours we spent together, because it was World War II vets buying Lincolns and Mercury. So after the five hours we spent together on the lot, I personally will be sorry to lose you. And you can't have any bad sport or any bitterness in you at all, or it doesn't work, right? Right, right. But my manager is going to be thrilled. He did get a couple higher offers on the car. So I guess I just need to know how soon can you be here to sign off on the car so we can sell it to someone else because you have a deposit on it right now. And then it started again when they showed up for their deposit. And by then we did have it ready and we could spot deliver it. And we saved probably nine out of 10 of those attempts. Gotcha. And with perfect CSI.